I have opened a file called protectorofpisa.jpg, found inside the 06 crop folder. Now, it appears to me whoever last edited this photo had problems choosing between the horizon line and the Tower of Pisa because neither of them are plumb. Of course, we want the horizon to be perpendicular and the tower to lean. So I'm going to switch over to the crop tool. And notice dead center in the options bar, we have this straighten tool. And you use it by dragging along the horizon line. Now you get one shot when using this tool because as soon as you release, the crop tool goes ahead and rotates the image and automatically crops it as well. In my case, it looks like I've done a pretty good job of straightening that horizon line, but I don't want to cut away the model's feet. If you don't want this auto cropping function, then just go ahead and press the escape key in order to abandon the crop and work with the old school ruler instead. You get to the ruler by clicking and holding on the eyedropper tool and then choosing the ruler tool from the flyout menu. Now drag with the ruler tool in order to create a line along the horizon. The advantage to working with this tool is you can edit that line before straightening the image. So you have the opportunity to get that line exactly right. And then once you do, you go up to the options bar and click on the straighten layer button. The difference here is that while the ruler tool goes ahead and generates an independent layer, so we're not clipping away any pixels, Photoshop makes no attempt to crop the image. It just rotates the layer inside the existing canvas. You then have to return to the crop tool at which point you can decide exactly what the crop boundary is going to look like. Now in my case, I still have the 2x3 constraint active, so I'll go up here to this pop-up menu on the far left side of the options bar and switch it back to unconstrained. And now I can drag these crop handles as desired. And I'm going to move this left side handle until it snaps to the edge of the image. And I'm going to drag this bottom handle all the way down so that it reveal the model's foot. And this looks pretty darn good. Double click inside the crop boundary in order to apply the crop. Now I'll switch back to the rectangular marquee tool. Now I still have some wedges showing with that transparency checkerboard in the background. So this is an imperfect crop. And I'll show you how to fill in those missing details in the next movie.